I consider the civil rights movement my stepping stone into the movement that I find myself in today. My advocacy actually started when I was still in school. I just remember going to school, having to take a school bus to school, but sitting on the back of the bus. I know I'm dating myself, but that's okay. Nothing in that movement was made perfect, but we saw that if we united as a group of people peacefully, we could get things accomplished, and that's what happened. So this is chapter two today. What do I do? How do I mobilize people to come on board and understand that if we work together, we can get through this because we came through that. I am a retired educator from Texas and the fact that a large majority of my students were from Mexico, Honduras, and El Salvador. The immigration crisis touches my heart in a way that I sometimes find difficult to explain. You know, I've cried through this process because of the children that were being taken away from their families at the border. My first thoughts were, those could have been my students. And so I knew when it happened, I couldn't just sit aside and do nothing. I immediately went to MoveOn.org and registered an event. I capped that event off at 375. And when I got there, there were reporters everywhere. I didn't advertise for reporters. They heard about the event and showed up. You know, they want to know who is the leader of this. I said, well, I'm the organizer, I'm the host, I'm not the leader necessarily. And so he said, how many people? And I said, 375. He said, have you looked down the street? I said, no, I haven't had time. <laughs> and he said, there are 600 people here. I said, well, are you kidding me? He said, they're all the way down the street. There are 600 people here. So our event was written up in the Chicago Tribune. But you know what? It wasn't about the Chicago Tribune to me. It was about people coming out. And I heard them say, this has never happened in this area. This movement, whatever the movement is, is always bigger than you. So my goal, my thoughts have always been, I've got to do it for the people. It's the way I was raised. You know, it's, it's a community effort to help somebody else. We do have the power as voters, as people, to have our voices heard, to speak loudly and with power, and to go in numbers and get things done. So that's how I perceive um, the civil rights era and the movement I find today with moveon.org is people power, is voting, is telling others, is bringing people on board, is breaking down those walls of division that we find ourselves in. And we can do that if we remain united.